Now, we all know the situation as far as the Pakistan economy is concerned. It is sinking and the country is finding it difficult to bail out itself from the crisis. But that hasn't stopped Pakistan from its Kashmir rhetoric. Pakistan continues to spend on anti-India plot. Pakistan has prepared a detailed toolkit to spread fake narrative and propaganda on social media to commemorate the so-called Kashmir Solidarity Day on the 5th of February. Now, the propaganda material has been sent to all Pakistani missions globally and missions have been asked to publish the same on their social media handles as well. Let's bring in our colleague Tejinder Singh Sodhi, who in fact has been tracking these developments for us. So instead of figuring out how to save themselves from their crippling economy and the crisis that only continues to escalate, Pakistan's obsession and desperation with Kashmir is an end. Uh, yes, Ritma, you rightly pointed out uh, that the obsession of Pakistan as far as India and Kashmir is concerned does not seem uh, to uh, to end. Uh, at a time when Pakistan in itself is in a mess, you see uh, the economy in Pakistan is in shambles. Uh, they are going from country to country with a begging ball. But the reality of Pakistan is that on one hand, while Pakistan continues to uh, sponsor terrorism in the Indian Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. On the other hand, Pakistan has not stopped uh, uh, the propaganda, the narrative which Pakistan tries to build against India globally. Now, uh, at uh, CNN News 18, we have exposed this Pakistani toolkit wherein Pakistan uh, Foreign Ministry has asked all the embassies, all the missions of Pakistan uh, globally to uh, to propagate the anti-India narrative. Rather, a toolkit has been prepared and which has been officially sent to all these embassies of Pakistan, all these missions of Pakistan globally, and they okay. have been asked to uh, publish uh, these uh, uh, the, the, these propaganda material on their social media handles. Not only this, the embassies and missions the globe have been asked to hold seminars, symposiums, uh, so as to portray the uh, so-called sorry state of affairs in uh, the Indian Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir, wherein Pakistan has okay. closed its eyes toward the reality that people in Jammu and Kashmir are happy. They have happily accepted the changes which have so, been brought in the Union territory after the abrogation of Article 370. Yes, Adhima. Yeah. I agree with the points that you're making, Tijinder. We leave the conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details.